Okay, Scott. No. What happened, big guy? Well, not surprisingly, I understand that the Senate will be passing the bill that went through the House yesterday. Cookie? <laughs> the Labor Party cannot absolve themselves. Ooh. They have done what they have done. Bill Shorten has done what he has done. I'm familiar with his work, yes. <laughs> Look, you're feeling a lot of pain right now. You're angry. Everybody else can flap their arms about. My arms are firmly by my side, and I'm very focused on the job I've got ahead of me. Sounds like a date to me. <laughs> We're here today to talk about implementing the Banking Royal Commission. Oh, that's a great plan! Whose plan was that? Mine. That's my plan. It was my plan. But let me be frank, I called the Royal Commission. Which is the new plan. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do it, Bill. Don't do it, Bill. Every time people write Labor off and say we can't do something, you know, we always, we never give up. <laughs> <laughs> Labor Party had quite a few Prime Ministers, but they weren't very good. We've had three good ones, I would argue. You get a Prime Minister and you get an entertainer. We're going to knock this into the park. I'm waiting now for an apology. Here we go, pivot! Pivot! Medical decisions on urgent medical transfers must be made on medical grounds by doctors. Dr. Wells wanted a more comprehensive overview of your status, so... If the medical treatment is required and it's delivered on Christmas Island and it makes people well, well, that's fine. Well, that sounds simple enough. Let's just do that. What's the matter with you? Mean guys at the coffee house. It was ridiculous, you know? These guys, they were bullies. You know, I think I'll really miss this. A government who doesn't want to be in Parliament isn't really in government. Get up. No. You're in my seat. Frankly, not interested. I've got too many other important things to focus on. 